1898, Russia is in need of cruisers to strengthen its naval capability in the Pacific Ocean. Of all the ships that were built, Bagatir was the best and became the prototype for a whole series of formidable Russian ships. Bagatir was laid down on December 9, 1899. This first-ranked cruiser was constructed in Germany. As the Russian Naval Ministry found that the best project was offered by the German company, Vulcan. All documents were constantly passed to Russia, where local shipyards were laying down Bagatir's sister ships, Vitez, Aichakov, Kagul, and Aliyeg. Cruiser Bagatir was a three-funnel ship with two masts and a well-developed forecastle in poop deck. The cruiser's power plant was modified at the suggestion of Russian engineers. As a result, Bagatir could sail even faster than designed, developing a speed of 24 knots with more than 20,000 horsepower. The new cruisers were over 134 meters long. Their beam was over 16 meters. The draft was about seven meters, and the design displacement was 6,410 tons. The ship's critical parts, her power plant and magazines, were covered by an armored arch deck with slopes to the sides and ends. The horizontal section of the deck was 35 millimeters thick, and the slopes were 70 millimeters thick. The guns were well protected by armored turrets and casemates, which gave Bogatir an advantage over her sister ships and other cruisers. On the main battery turrets, the armor was 90 to 125 millimeters thick. On the gun casemates, it was 35 to 80 millimeters thick. The coning tower was protected by 140 millimeter armor. The gun shields and the roofs of the turrets in the coning tower were 25 millimeters thick. Bagatir's primary armament consisted of 12 152mm Kanae guns, well reputed in the Russian Navy. Eight of them were placed in casemates and in mounts on the deck. Four guns were installed in twin turrets on the ship's bow and stern, which was Bagatir's distinctive feature. With this arrangement of artillery on board, the ship could focus fire very effectively. No other Russian cruiser boasted a salvo of eight main battery guns. The secondary battery consisted of 12 75mm Kanae guns. In addition, the cruiser was equipped with six small-caliber Hotchkiss guns. As for torpedo armament, Bogatir and her sister ships had four 381mm torpedo tubes. In November of 1902, two months after her commission, cruiser Bagatir sailed to Russia's Far East. Not long after that, the Russo-Japanese War broke out and, at first, she had an active role in it. During the first three months of hostilities, Bagatir left the harbor three times to hunt for enemy transports. Unfortunately, on her next cruise, Bagatir ran aground and spent the rest of the war in repairs. After the Russo-Japanese War, the cruiser returned to the Baltic Sea and again, like on her voyage to Russia's Far East, she demonstrated excellent reliability. The ship sailed the distance without delays or malfunctions. Upon arrival, she was included in the Special Baltic Division intended for training naval cadets. Together with this division, Bogatir undertook long cruises almost every year, visiting the North Sea, the Norwegian Sea, and even the Barents Sea. In 1908, in the Mediterranean Sea, the cruiser's crew helped save people after a terrible earthquake in the Italian city of Messina. Russian sailors were the first to arrive at the disaster scene, where they rescued more than 2,000 people and transported hundreds of injured to the hospitals in Syracuse, Naples, and Palermo. Their actions are a highlight for the Russian fleet. Three years after the earthquake, Italian sculptor Pietra Kufele created a project for a monument which was erected in Messina a hundred years later.
cruiser Bogatyr actively participated in World War I. She laid mines in the Baltic Sea, engaged German cruisers, and hunted for enemy transports. Bogatyr played a key role in operations aimed at capturing secret documents aboard German cruiser Magdeburg after she ran aground. The seized papers were transferred to the Allies and allowed them to easily decipher German radiograms until the end of the war, which had a significant impact on the course of hostilities. In early 1916, a radical rearmament of the ship was carried out. All 152 mm and 75 mm guns were replaced with 16 new rapid-firing 130 mm guns made by Russia's Abuhov plant. With the beginning of the Russian Revolution in 1917, Bogatyr sailed to Revel, now Tallinn, and from there she arrived at Kronstadt after the tremendously difficult ice cruise in February and March of 1918. At the end of 1922, Bogatyr sailed her last cruise to Germany, where she had been built 20 years before to be scrapped. However, protected cruiser Bogatyr was officially stricken from the Soviet fleet registry in only 1925.